Today we are going to learn how to include footnotes into our report and also include a page with EndNotes using Google Docs. First, I want to make sure that I have my report. Here it is. And I'm going to then go to my sources, which I have saved in a separate document. Here are my sources. Now before I include my sources in my paper, I need to know that I'm including footnotes, which are the little number right here, the number one, that comes after a sentence and after a punctuation. And the footnote indicates that the information in this sentence leading up to it is based on information from one of my sources. So this sentence, lorum ipsum dolor sit amet, blah, 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 is taken from, let's say, the Cambridge Encyclopedia of Language. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back and delete that footnote so you can see how I include it. Go to insert footnote and then you'll see a number one appears at the end of the sentence and then a number one appears at the bottom of the page near the footer and I paste the entire citation so I know okay that information from the first sentence is from the Cambridge Encyclopedia of Language third edition the year 2010 but I want to be specific about which page I got that information from. So in that example, maybe it's from page 177. I'm going to insert another footnote, and I will say that this footnote is from the Dictionary of Literary Terms and Literary Theory. I'll copy that. And this citation doesn't have any pages or pagination, so I'm going to add a comma after the year. And I'm just going to put the year, uh, I'm sorry, after the year, I'm going to put the letter P twice and a page number. And we'll say 77 and a period. So that follows the same format as this footnote over here. I have the same format over here. I'm going to do one more. This is citation from starting with Shakespeare. Put that in sentence over here. I want to make sure that all those footnotes align I'm being specific with just one page. And for our purposes, I'm going to take this out. Because on the last page, you need the EndNote. And to do that, you need the EndNote generator. And that is included in the Google Doc add on. So you go to Document Add ons, Get Add ons. And I'm going to type in end note and the first one that appears a node generator that's the one that we're going to use and I'm going to install continue a window will appear asking to choose an account if you have more than one account make sure it's your ERSD account it'll ask for the permissions allow them Loading, loading, still loading, and no generator has been installed. Done. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go back to the top, go to my add ons, go to end no generator. And before I hit run, I want to make a copy 
of my report. Because once I run the EndNote generator, I will not be able to undo that. So if I make a mistake or I want to change something, I want to make sure that it's done in the copy and not in the original so that if I make a mistake, I still have the original that I can go back and edit. So now I'm going to go to Tools. I'm sorry, I'm going to go to Add-ons, EndNode Generator. I'm going to click Run. It's working. And I'm going to read this. This add-on converts footnotes in the document into EndNotes. Thank you. Before you run it, you want to make sure you're done with your footnotes. Converting EndNotes will reset your citations to zero, meaning you can't insert footnotes in order. Please finish inserting footnotes before convert. At this point, I'm going to say, yep, I'm done. All set. There's one footnote, two, three footnotes. That's great. Now, for your purposes, you want to have at least one footnote per paragraph. So that way I know that your information is based on your research. That's a very important part of this research narrative. I'm going to click Generate. All footnotes converted. Let's see if that is true. Scroll down. EndNotes. Bingo. And I want that to be on that page. Well, the third page. I don't want it to be a blank page. And there we have our EndNote.